There we go, welcome back. Okay, so this is technically take two. <laughs> for the podcast episode. We've already been chatting for a hot minute, but unfortunately OBS shut down and crashed during the recording for this. So, started from the top again. What a great way to start off with the episode. You have myself, Sig. We have Rog with us. Two guys to make up two guys, one game pad. We have a special guest here who is a full-time kick streamer. Uh, Florida Rampage Gaming, who goes by Jay. We have him with us, and yeah, we're just going to kind of unfortunately pick up where we left off. Just know, plays Call of Duty, plays Fortnite, plays a lot of variety of games, similar to myself. Roggle has 10 years plus on him. That's really what you missed out for the last, like, 15 minutes. So, (laughs) regardless, (laughs) apologies for stuff you don't even know you miss. So, we're back, though. My bad. (laughs) All right, Grandpa, you got anything you want to add? Bitch. Uh, one thing real quick, you did say that the trolls, you think the trolls are back or the trolls are happening within Warzone multiplayer thing right now. This is something that's that we have had in the past. Let me say grew up on. This is something we've had in the past. I didn't grow uh, up on it. Yes, you did. Don't even... It was in my adult. It was in my adulthood when that shit happened. You haven't hit adulthood yet. I don't care how old you are. With your four bags of candy around you and your Deadpool toys, but the 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 trolls, the toxicity, and everything else has been there since like Black Ops Two and it was. It's not quite to where it was at that point, but it's it was horrible and it is toxic. It's very. It can get very toxic, like it is now. Um, The fact that you can report people now. Is a is a bigger thing because now anybody that gets their feelings hurt can report somebody, regardless of what it is. And the Call of Duty threatens to ban you if you have the wrong verbiage, so to say. Mm-hmm. If they if if it's uh, something that could possibly hurt somebody's feelings, or if you know the guys in the, the guys in the basement drinking code red at the wrong house decides to get upset on what you say, they can report you as well. So it's just an in always evolving toxicity with Call of Duty. Those Call of Duty or those Code Red drinkers are busy watching my shit clearly be like he sat too long in this spot. <laughs> Three minutes. I know he's he's checking the map out, but he's been in that spot. He hasn't moved. Or hell, he's been fire he's been in a firefight, but he's been in the same spot for three minutes because he's trapped. Kick him off. Fuck you. Every it's night. Now, they have a thing for that. Yep. They have a thing for that now. If you stay in one place, oh, oh they I know. say you're unactive and kick oh. you out the game. Oh, I know. Every week it happens. It always happens when I'm in the middle of a firefight, too. I was like, I'll be over here screaming for Roggle or whatever. Then Rand's like, shit. You've been inactive for three minutes. No, I'm not. I'm well, literally dying been- over here and shooting, but that's cool. My feet didn't move because my partner ran away or I ran away and he can't help me. Because you sit on top of a tower the entire time. That's the only time it happens. When no. On one certain tower, don't lie. It, I don't got lie. stuck I got stuck on a roof, and everybody had access. I got banned from or kicked from it. You're not stuck on the roof if you don't jump off. So, they were coming up to me. I wanted the kills. <laughs> but as a toxic people, it's it's gotten worse over the years, I think. Especially in, eat, like, rank or... Team, like regular death match, team death match, anywhere on Call of Duty, it's gotten worse. People will. Oh, yeah, for sure. It definitely has gotten worse. People uh, will hate for, for no reason. Oh, no reason. <laughs> they die? <laughs> yeah, I died. <laughs> they too much. <laughs> but the, it's only going to get worse mm-hmm. as Call of Duty moves forward. See, that's... that's a lot of why I don't play professionally anymore. Gotten so bad, and I got tired of putting up with teammates and toxic people that I had to just kind of shut up, shut up away and do my own thing. I will say, I think I think that's where we're going to see a drastic change because Microsoft does not mess around with 
any of that stuff. Mm-mm. And now that they own Activision and Blizzard, it's set in stone. They officially own them. It's underneath their umbrella. I unfortunately see a very weird transition phase for Ricochet, the anti-cheat, where it's going to... The vulgar language is what's going to get people. It's going to be an extreme overcorrect of everybody who says anything slightly offensive or says slightly inappropriate to the point of even minor swear words like crap and shit are going to get you possibly suspended, maybe even banned, especially with how restricted um, or how strict, sorry, Microsoft is with their own banning system across their platforms where you can now be banned indefinitely. If you get to 10 strikes, I think is what it is now. And it takes some time. It's not going to happen in a month's time, but Basically, if you're the biggest piece of shit, you're going to you're going to reap the benefits of it. Um, And with Microsoft now transitioning from console and doing third party and being a platform gamer, I I see this coming in the next like three, four years. We're going to have a massive crackdown and Call of Duty is going to be the one that benefits, so to speak, from it. But I don't use voice chat. I use Discord. I hate voice chat because of, well, as Rago, I have say so many times the mouth breathers the ones who have to deep throat their microphones who have their uh, music blast in their kids screaming but like it's every game is just oh, one of those that, like, the people that eat yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 my favorite ones is the people that sit there and eat <laughs> yeah it's it's like hey, come on man yeah. to hear that Rog will do that just to piss me off from time to time oh yeah i do it on purpose I just can't say the ones that have the that have a headset, but then have their TV blasting in the background, so I can hear everything else going on from their side of the game as yep. well. So it drives me nuts. But one Such of those things that reverb. won't will not change. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be a thing. Mm-hmm. Music will not change. Mouth breathers will never stop. Only get worse. So yeah. you know, it's 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 one of those games that, regardless of the state that it's in, I, I'll probably always play it. I I've stuck with it since it came out. Sig- I had to bring Sig over. He was refusing to play it. You had to bring me back into the out. fold. Let's be let's be real. I was playing up until no, I played Modern Warfare two even, and then I stopped because like yeah. this game's fucking stupid. What Warzone you went to play? Yeah, Warzone I, I went to touch. I had to pull you over to Warzone. And then Modern Warfare when they came out with that remaster trash, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get it. Got it. I was like, fuck you, you piece of shit. God damn it, <laughs> you trapped me. This sucks. I didn't play it. Waste of sixty dollars. I didn't like Warzone, even though I did dabble in it for a bit. Because Godzilla, that was such oh, a great event, well, right? God. That, to be honest, that seems to be. I'm gonna call them out on it. That seems to be Call of Duty thing. They'll hype up something. Oh yeah. And they'll just it'll be complete garbage. Yep. Like that seems to be their motive. Well, yeah, I mean, MW3 was actually still not may not like it, but it's actually really good because it's an old. It's, they're bringing back old school maps, OG maps that we all remember playing. Uh, a bunch of my and, maps are still missing. A bunch okay, of all we can't maps. all play Newtown. <laughs> Technically, I can, but but it it just they will promise like when cheating got really bad in not just regular Call of Duty, but in Warzone, they were talking about they're gonna. I've seen videos where they put like fake dummies out, and if you shoot one and you're using some kind of cheat, it'll kick you out automatically. When NW2 first came out, I was, my very first game, I was paired with a hacker. What happened? Two minutes of the game? Out. Yeah. Like, it's... And anti-cheats will work to a point, but there will always be hackers and modders well, yeah. in some kind of game. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a that's a two-sided coin subject because you're not gonna you can't afford to get rid of these people you can't because these are the same people who are drawing the attention of having their name in your mouth 
whether you hate it or you like it. And that's like Call of Duty's big MO is overhype, underdeliverer type thing. And we've done the review on Modern Warfare 3 where like the campaign, while it was a decent and good story, it lacked a bunch of substance to it because it was very, very quick, beat it really easy with no issues at all. And that was kind of like everyone's focal point of, well, they had to scrap it and it's, you know, very shit. Well, yeah, that's true. A lot of stuff would happen because of Bobby Kodak. And then you had Warzone 2, which should never, like, it, it should have just been Warzone. Sorry, Warzone 3, as everyone's calling now. Fuck off. Hate it. Uh, but they have newer cheats. And you're again, you're not going to get rid of all the hackers. You can't afford to. But the newer cheats are hilarious, where if you get caught cheating or hacking, you get 10x fall damage or 100x fall damage, or your people you do shoot disappear. And it's just like troll on uh, optimized level. But having, whether good or bad, uh, clarity on hackers, someone's talking about Activision, somebody's talking about Call of Duty, you're going to go read that thread you're going to go research this you're going to go watch the videos watch the streams you're going to go and investigate this or you're going to be like well that's bullshit i don't have this issue let me prove it and you're going to search your own avenue again activision benefits and now microsoft but the language aspect of it will be the only thing that microsoft does not play with at all because they don't take kindly to profanity to bullying to harassment especially since they're one of the big top 10 pledgers to stop harassment and bullying, especially to children. And since you can't really dictate who's playing games, even though the ESRB rating is right there, it says this is not for under the age of 17. Moms and dads who just want to shut their kids are just going to be like, here you go, yep. go play it. Um, and we have a whole episode that we cover that it's, so the only thing Microsoft can do at that point is to be like, well, fine, we'll take our knee, our umbrella, and we'll say, we hear swear words, we hear racial, we hear profanity, you're done. Like, get them off, go play Sony, go play elsewhere, get the hell off. Uh, but now that Microsoft is no longer going to be creating consoles after this current generation, and they're going to put all their games and Game Pass on, on Sony and Switch, or Nintendo, we're going to see their aspect of anti-cheat being pushed very hard on those specific games like Call of Duty where someone's coming out being very stupid with racial profanity and racial discrimination that they're going to just be like done, kicked out. Um, or that kid that's calling you his bitch and he sounds like he's maybe six or seven years old screaming your ear that high yeah. pitch and you're like, please stop. My ears They've are done that. So. Except for Timmy. Oh, been there, done that. Timmy's hilarious to watch. <laughs> yeah, that's that's but, that's one thing. It's, it's never going to stop. It's gonna it's gonna be one of those things that they're constantly going to have. It's like Sig said, it, you have to have them in order to maintain some type of community and also to maintain jobs. You're going to have to have hackers and cheaters because without it, you're going to have this boring. It's going to be boring without it. Yeah, because everybody's too busy with us stacking anyways. They're too concerned about the yeah. new issues of stacking. But we've already covered that one. <laughs> and third party not to listen to the other complaint. Love it. Which, whatever. Oh, my issue with that was kids shouldn't, like, I see kids all the time playing GTA. And it's like, um, something's wrong here. The kids, little seven year old, little Timmy is playing ETA with a bunch of adults and strippers, just in guns and drugs, and just. And the other coin is they're letting little kids also on Todd. And I had a little seven year old cuss me out the other night, just <laughs> recently me out the other night yep. calling me a hacker and a whole bunch of other things i'm just like um you're seven go play fortnite go, go play minecraft 
here's the deal if you're gonna let your Don't kids play, play you're, if you're gonna let your kid come on and play a rated m game i don't care if it's gta uh or call of duty i have no shame at all i'm like oh so you know the word fuck let me show you all the ways you can use this properly i'm gonna mention your mom and all this as well and i will i i get way too into it but i get i don't use voice chat and the very very few times i do where i'm like testing certain features out in the game for reviews i will get that you know seven eight nine year old who just comes in they think they're shit talking and everything i'm like you have no idea what you're saying no idea oh really my mom <laughs> All right, come here. Come here, little Timmy. Let me tell you something about the female anatomy. Let me scar you for life. Did you kiss your mom on your dad's birthday? Yeah, you know why? You know why he was so happy? Let me explain this to you. I'm going to scar you, you little shit. So where they have to go talk to mom and dad. Because I've had times on... Oh, when was I going big? It would have been Cold War. Call of Duty Cold War came out. I was playing with a group of guys. like I think it was five or six of us that we'd run multiplayer with and we had a little kid just get pissed off because we were owning him and he's trash talking and everything and we literally just ran into him and saying pretty terrible terrible stuff about things that may or may not have happened to his mom and grandma and the activities of sorts and this little kid got so mad and so pissed off that he got his mom and his mom came on the microphone. It's like, how dare you talk to my son this way? That's so inappropriate, blah, blah. I was like, this is a rated M game. Check the rating on it. It specifically states 17 or older. Is your little Timmy 17? No. Oh, sounds like you're facing the repercussions of your choices. So with that said, I'll see you tonight. Keep the door unlocked and just piss her off even more. Like, it's just... You want to do this type of stuff it's subject to natural selection so to speak but i've also stopped using altogether because somebody came out on my stream live and said a lot of racial stuff and got my stream on twitch suspended for two days because of it and all they did was pop in and say racial slurs and then left i was like great awesome thanks twitch I didn't even do it. So that would be why there's oh. a, such a big problem with bullying. It's because of SIG. That night. That's what, that's what caused a lot of it. Well, well, he deserved it. On. Don't shit talk we him. Have, I'm not going to stand it. Uh, but we have the kids like um, on TikTok. Always, uh, the bully goes, you're weird to serve a Tic Tac. And the little kid goes, yeah, that's why your mom's breast smells so good. Yeah. His parents sitting behind him. Yeah. I mean... That would be if my you're child. Play, have some thick skin. That would be my That's child true. right there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I have no shame in that one. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, if you're going to have some kind of thick, because years of playing, I just let crap go now. Like, I've heard it. I tell them that's not even original. Come on, do yeah. better. You say something else. Although your mama jokes and oh my my favorite response right now is my old. childhood called it wants its comebacks and they literally just go how old are you? Doesn't matter. Your shit's not original. Give me my comebacks back. Stick to your new stuff. And even their new stuff, you're just like huh? What? What is that? If I had to Google slang. Not worth my time. It's not impactful enough if I have to go over here and be like, all right, what does this word mean? Oh, to throw. This is stupid. This is <laughs> fucking stupid. I hate yeah, you all. Nowadays, it's a lot of hands. A lot of hands are lazy. Yeah. It just comes with a territory, really, because if you're going to be on, like, GTA, Call of Duty, or anything, you have to have some kind of thick skin. Because people are getting so bad. And, oh, little Timmy's got to learn his lesson the hard way. So with that said, though, because I, I know we keep referencing Timmy, there is a streamer whose handle is something little Timmy or something Timmy. And he's a grown ass adult who uses a voice modifier 
to sound like a prepubescent child, and it's hilarious because he trolls everybody so oh. hard. Give and me two cans. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. He's fucking hilarious. I oh, love no, the I dude. Did, I. When I get on coach, I'll be like, Look, come here, little Timmy. I'm not even referencing him or anything. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll be like, come here, little Timmy. Timmy's like the Karens. Or, like, <laughs> really little is. Jimmy or whatever, but it, like I said, it's, it's a side, two sided coin, really. So it's just, the way it works now, it's like esports. Esports gonna it's gonna grow, and it's not going to be. Well, you still see toxic esports players. Yeah, they're called but, League of Legends yeah. players. That whole community is fucking toxic. Like they are the true. You look up toxicity, and there's League of Legends. Like that just. Oh, and the fact that they're getting a second one just. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh, yeah. I mean, I played it too. I hate it. Call of Duty in itself will grow as you now you got rank like lead Call of Duty. Fortnite's got their own little rank su- uh, structure. Uh, Fortnite, like, like that's everybody's the thing. got their own little structure now. Call of Duty's had ranked for a while. Like, this isn't something that's new. It's just in true Activision fashion. It's let's remove all of this. <gasps> Bring it back. Look, it's new. It's shiny. Ooh, no, no. Yeah. That's like, oh, we brought back. We have Terminal. Yeah, I know. Anybody who's ever played Call of Duty knows about Terminal. Like, this isn't new. Or Nuketown. St- stop, stop shining the, shining, trying to shiny the turd. It's still the same fucking turd from years ago. It's an amazing map. Love it. Don't get me wrong. But they're, they're taking away so much. And that's like the big thing with uh, MW2 is they took away almost everything that everybody loves about Call of Duty. And then Modern Warfare 3, they're like, look what we... Look what we're bringing out with this game. Oh, you mean look what you're fixing from NW2? Well, at least you recognize your mistakes, but don't don't sugarcoat this and don't spackle it with paint and say it's something new because it's it's the same shit from two years ago, three years ago, six years ago, 12 years ago. You're just recoding it to so where it fits your narrative. And that's cool and everything. Like, it's okay. proper marketing, but it's been around for a hot minute. I mean, I see in, that. in W3's defense... And in There's W3's no defense, defense it's, it was two different companies that made them. Two and three. It's always Correct? a different company. It's Sledgehammer, Raven, Infinity Ward, Activision, and um, I'm leaving with Sledgehammer. You always have those who have been entwined with Call of Duty since almost day one, and they always rotate who gets to do the next game. It's always been that way for years so they use a shell with the exception of golf war that's coming out later this year they traditionally use a shell of the game to bring all the coding structure over so where developers don't have to rewrite the entire script code and say hey we need to reprogram the m16 and write it from scratch they can just copy and paste and fix the errors that get tossed later on whereas like golf war coming out later this year in november I think it's that that's going to be proving ground because it's the first game that they've been working on for four years that is brand new. They're not using any um, overlays or redistribute uh, redistribution of code structure from Modern Warfare series or Cold War or Vanguard. So this is brand new code structure with the exception of weapons and perks because they're just going to rename them something else. So Golf War would be a proving ground. And if it blows out of the water like it's anticipating right now, then Call of Duty is on a positive trajectory for the first time in six years, seven years. 20 years. They always, always do that, though. You know it. Well, yeah. I do. 
They always try it. That's all we're going to do. I've this been one. Saying that. Advanced so. Warfare. Shut your damn <laughs> mouth and never mention that game ever again. Uh, Golf War also is it's pretty out, correct? That's it. Shut up. That's the pun. That's <laughs> track and drink, uh, Golf War, correct? Track and Sledge, I believe. Like, yeah. Let's. Get Sledge stepped away with this one because they were pissed off. And then Ravensoft has something else, else, don't they? They're involved in something else. Is it multiplayer? Or are they split it? Can't wait. Fuck it. My camera, I know, I know Treyarch has, has um, Golf War. So, but Treyarch, has something else. Treyarch is the head studio for Golf War this year. Mm-hmm. Sledgehammer is moving on to the expansion for MW2 and MW3. So they'll be releasing the updates and support for Modern Warfare 2 and 3 that's out right now. Sledgehammer will also help with the multiplayer aspect of Golf War, which is 2024's edition. Raven Tech will help with a, quote, zombie-like round-based game. So all studios still stay involved as long as infinity war which is the douche canoe one that nobody likes there's the one that always they're the one that fucked up a lot of stuff with mw2 and mw3 saying you can't do this we want done this way assassin vest being the key uh item with mw3 that they brought back that everybody was so mad about which sucks to suck whatever Mm -hmm. but they also wouldn't let Sledgehammer do what they wanted with uh, Warzone and Zombies. So, too yeah. many hands in the pot type situation. But outside well, of Call of Duty... It just seems like... Go ahead. It just seems like whoever makes the game the next year and the next year has to pick up the little pieces and the little curves that the last game had to move into another game and try to fix that turd. But... Well, that's because it like, seems if, like if you look at the past, though, it used to be you had Modern Warfare, you had Black Ops. So one year you would get a Modern Warfare game, next year you'd get a Black Ops game. Year after that, you would get Advanced Warfare or some other like knockoff so where they each had two to three years to develop a game and they could clone for the most part of their aspect of the game. So whoever was in charge of, you know, Infinity Warfare is known for um modern warfare that is their bread and butter originally and they started it with treyarch as well so they would do just modern warfare and then you would have sledgehammer and raven soft do black ops and then you would have raven soft and um i believe it was treyarch do ghost and then again next year modern warfare year after that black ops we're not doing that anymore, or they're not doing that anymore. They're doing Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. And everybody's like, shit, stop. You're not making this any better. We have to get back in that, that aspect of, you know, let's release a Modern Warfare. Cool. That studio, that developer team only works on that, and they support it for the next two years. Black Ops Golf War comes out two years support with their studio Hopefully another Ghost game, because Ghost was fucking amazing. And let that run for two to three years. Instead of one year support, one year support, $70 down the drain, and there's no real enticement to keep picking up and keep playing when the only thing you're getting from Modern Warfare 2, well, hell, even 1 to 2 to 3, Warzone's free. Multiplayer for Golf War is... Uh, rumored to be free right now so you're going to be paying for a campaign and maybe extra operators whatever they're going to do but from modern warfare to modern warfare 2 to modern warfare 3 you paid for the campaign and multiplayer aspect and zombies for modern warfare 3 if you don't play that you have no need to purchase and to upgrade just play warzone because warzone's free Whereas if you're hard into Team Deathmatch and you're hard into multiplayer, you bought the game because that's where your money was spent. And yet mo- uh, multiplayer for Modern Warfare really doesn't change. They're just cycling through maps, giving it facial lifts, so to speak, and tweaking minor little things. 
but all the maps for the most part they go through 20 different maps changing my your little cosmetics from you know a small stack of boxes to a big stack of boxes to no wall wall and while yes that code wise that's a lot of data i respect it i code i'm a developer i understand it but at the same time it's a recyclement of 20 maps 24 maps max and they're polishing that turd multiple ways and look at this we brought it back and now they gotten so lazy with Modern Warfare 3 of let's reach back 10 years. Boop. Terminal. Oh, here's Rust. But wait, we're going to change Rust. And I'll give it to them. The event that had Rust with all the ether crystals was freaking gnarly. It looked amazing. Loved it. Cool. But then there's just Rust. And you're like, great. I'm going to go camp up top and try to stay there for the foreseeable future and not die along the way. But don't worry, you're going to see me climb that same ladder, jump those spots every time and die. Five hundred times. <laughs> so. so short of us talking about Call of Duty for the next 45 minutes. What? Jay, what are your top, give me your top three um, Call of Duty games. Advanced Warfare, Advanced Warfare 2. Oh, shut. If you can't tell, um, I, hate, I hate that I, game. I, <laughs> unfortunately, Advanced Warfare is not in any of those. Shouldn't be. It would have to be uh, original in W two, Ghost, Cold War, and maybe the new in W three. Because because they only made one Ghost, they left the story. They need to and listen to me, Activision. They'll need to finish the damn story. I'm but, tired of every second Call of Duty. Well, to be fair, though, Get Ghost up. Ghost was one of the most hated games in Call of yeah. Duty's history up until yeah. recent times. Like, I think it wasn't until about maybe four or five years ago, everyone was shitting on Ghost. And Ghost, outside of gameplay, which was fantastic, uh, the freaking album, the music album, was amazing, with Avenged Sevenfold being the key point. Loved it, neither here nor there. But Ghost was shit on. It was deemed the worst. It was deemed terrible. Nobody liked it. And the people who did like it, like Rago and myself, and it seems like you too, we've always liked it. And now people are starting to turn around and be like, well, hold on a second. Did you know about Ghost? Bitch, sit your ass down. Let me tell you about Ghost. <laughs> you don't get to educate me on a game of which I've been playing since day one and I love. But I just I, wish that's why they haven't done it though. They would, yeah. I wish they would just finish the stories. Like always in the campaign, they never finish the story. Like spoiler, nope dies. Are y'all gonna make another Modern Warfare Four? Or, like Ghost, one of them got shot in the, in the campaign, dies. Y'all gonna finish that story? Like. I don't know, the new operator skins. I'm getting Ghost it. becomes a skeleton. They all become skeletons. It's fucking Walking Dead. That's why. <laughs> you can come back. Zombies. But... <laughs> uh... Oh. Um... But... It just... To y'all's point, they need these campaigns, they need to finish the damn story and stop making... The same damn game four hundred times. Yeah, I think that's I think it's the direction that they're going, hopefully with how they're doing it now and everything else. So I think it's it's gonna take some time and I don't think it's I, we talked about it in another episode, but I think they're they're gonna hit a low point before they hit a high. Um but I think that's just in transition. And so I think it'll eventually happen. Gulf War seems to be hopefully moving in the right direction, but again, we'll see. We've been teased before. Yeah. And right so, now, yeah. Golf War, four years development, would still be underneath Bobby Kodak's Activision Blizzard studio. So realistically, timeline alone with Microsoft being, Microsoft just have acquired officially as of December 2023. You base that four years out, we're looking at like 2027. We should see the first official fully produced, fully in-house Microsoft backed Call of Duty, whereas three, four, well, two, three, and four years are still able to be done underneath Microsoft for the most part. Development started back underneath Bobby Kodak's dream vision 
of the shit hole that was Activision. So next year we'll have a good idea on what Microsoft allows them to do. And like I was telling Roggle, I think last week or earlier this week, if I was Microsoft this year alone, I would say they had to push Call of Duty back. Back in like September, October, just simply say, oh, hey, we don't like where it's at right now. We're going to push it back a month and release in December. Even though the game could be fully done, it's polished. They're just minor little tweaks. Doing something as minor as that would show and represent so much good faith in the gaming community of everybody going, oh, they actually give a damn about Call of Duty versus the money grab of we're just going to pump these out because the community will always buy it no matter how shitty the game is, is to take that month of reprieve and just sit back and be like, we're so sorry. Here you go. And thanks Cyberpunk for bringing that to everybody's light. But well, that would be their best. I forgot to add, add Vanguard too in my list. Because people hate on Vanguard. Yeah, some people do hate on Vanguard. Some people also hate on Cold War, but too. I think, it was, but it, I think Vanguard was groundbreaking for rank in itself. Because it opened people's eyes about how, how rank all in itself, kind of. Because you really didn't get that too much with Cold War when they had Cold War rank. No, that wasn't their focus on Cold War. Nobody yeah. knows what the focus was in Cold War. Multiplayer. It was, it was garbage. Except Russians. Garbage. Except Russians. Russians had something War. to do with it. I whooped so much ass on Cold War multiplayer. So much. Yeah. And in comparison to Warzone streak right now, I look like a goddamn god on Cold War. Whereas now I'm struggling to get four kills on Warzone because I'm like, I'm just trying to kill somebody. Where the fuck did you just come from? Oh, you're using some stupid SMG meta that I'm also using, but yours works better. Same loadout. Fuck you. Speaking of metas, though, because you do play and you play rank, how do you feel about metas? What's your stance on this whole mm. meta loadouts? I mean, if people want to pay for it, they're going to pay for it, but I I stick to what I can and what I use. It's what do you mean pay for two it? Two ARs. Because metas are just they specific pay for the loadouts. Meta stuff? No. no? You literally, it's somebody oh. on TikTok well, no, or an app or website. There, I mean, there are, there are pay, to, pay to wins, essentially, you can get off, yeah. out, of the, out of the store. But I mean, there are other metas that could be built. Just by uh, different different add-ons to to different weapons, yeah, which specific barrels, under barrels. As you progress to the game, unlocking yeah. or whatnot like that. So the metas we're referring to are the ones that the meta builds that can be made. Um, the community the metas. Weapon vault. Yeah, the yeah. ones that are made in the weapons vault. A lot of the ones that you see the bigger streamers using this say, "Oh, you're getting you know, fifteen to twenty kills per game using this meta, or you know, whatever whatever they have." Yeah, used to. Dual wasps, 100 rounds each. You'll get 15, 20 kills. No. I got eight. I mean, I, I when I build my guns, I want to I just movement, accuracy. I want a little of everything. So, like, when I do tournaments, I have to have a certain class for tournament. Yep. When I have, do rank, I have a certain class for rank. I do NW3, a war zone, or when I do like team deathmatch, war zone, I have custom codes for those. But usually I stick to what I know and what I can use. And I have no problem without being meta dropping 20 kills a game half the time, about 60% of the time. And you play again so, mostly the multiplayer aspect. Yeah. I, I only mention that because I, I've seen so many, especially today for some reason on TikTok, it's flooded with new meta classes coming out because of season two hitting Wednesday. Oh, this. And people, I've been seeing a lot of people say, oh, well, you need to go check out like the MCW or you need to go check out the MTZ because that's the highest TTK time to kill rate. And 
the funniest thing I saw on it is like all the gameplay they're showing is of multiplayer. And for the most part, it's on shipment. So one, the gameplay is already incredibly fast on shipment because it's a very, 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 very tiny fucking map and doesn't take much to kill people. Um, and then two, there's more so like search and destroy. Not knocking either one of those, but simply the gameplay they show to back these community metas, so to speak, because they're not getting them from the store. It's, you need this, this barrel, this muzzle, this stock, this rear grip, specific structures. Um, those, I've, I've tested them uh, all of January. I was testing every high class meta they TikTok, websites, popular apps. Everybody was saying these will guarantee. I was like, all right, bet. Let's try this. And I did. Did it on Thursdays, did it on my own. Didn't like didn't really help too much. I will say that. There's metas are a good starting ground if you're trying to figure out what do you want. You prefer movement and damage. Most prefer uh, damage and recoil. And what's funny about the recoil is a lot of people do like horizontal high on horizontal recoil. It's like yep. it's not how you're gonna shoot Spring. mostly. It's it goes up, you want vertical. Um, which is a lot of the metas I see or custom metas I see is people going very heavily on horizontals and yet they're still their recoil going vertical is so bad that they're cranking back on the stick or the mouse depending upon what system they're using to play. Uh, but that seems to be a very I wouldn't say a hot topic but it seems to be a, a lukewarm topic that I see a lot on soup, uh, social media and even inside games and when we stream on Thursdays collectively I'll get people in occasionally who be like, what, uh, why are you testing metas or what's this meta for? Then there's buddy Lance who's just shitting on me just because he's known me forever. Uh, but metas are always the first thing of, Oh wow. You did really good. I'm glad you think I did really good. I only got six kills. That's not really good. Let me hop on the multiplayer. I'll show you really good. 20, 30 kills. But metas are just that one thing I think is so interesting to see everybody's perspective on because hardcore warzone players will swear up and down by them multiplayer seems to be like and eh, there's some truth but not so much that makes sense i mean if i could just get a sniper rifle any sniper rifle in my hand you're done for yeah, that's like, too. Gun for. <laughs> like, people want to play F around. I like some people found out last night. I was, they kept trying to snipe me. I was like, oh, y'all want to play sniping games? Okay. Yep. Play F around to find out. Here we go. I, I love sniper headshot, warfare. Headshot. Headshot. I love sniper warfare because I will sit there and I will camp behind a tree. Of like the most minuscule thing, I'll sit behind a tree, especially in a war zone, and be like, oh, he's right there. Ping! Down. Ping! Broken. And I was like, alright. And they'll just keep going back too. They'll res themselves, get up and go back and get them back down and be like, you know, definition of insanity is doing the same thing over expecting different results. You're fucking stupid insane, so let's like, <laughs> fix this. In multiplayer, certain maps are the same way where you can just aim down the alleyway, people will challenge you and you're like you don't understand clearly yeah. that i have the whole fucking alleyway all 50 100 meters of it and you still have to peek around that corner and i'm gonna see you before you see me okay but somebody won't play multiplayer so that's why i do it in my free time not a fan yeah. multiplayer either it's too chaotic for me yeah, that's that you can't really I mean, as long as you don't get shit, man. That's what I was up. That's what happens. I'll pull, I'll, I will play it every now and then. We play it a little bit, but no, I'd rather do Warzone over multiplayer. Like, I can, I can do multiplayer from time to time, but I don't know. It gets, it gets rough. Before yeah. there was Warzone, I would do multiplayer, but I, I think in when it killed me when I was in Afghanistan because we played it every night for a year straight. And I think that's one thing that just wore me out of multiplayer. Granted, it was the same six to eight of us that played every <laughs> night, but I think it just killed me and wore me out of it. Not because you suck at it. Right? I, mean, I, don't know, I was decent by the end. It, <laughs> it's like 
for it's like Fortnite. Fortnite will come out with a new season, new guns, new skins. And that just seems the way games are going now, not just Warzone, Call of Duty, Apex. Like Minecraft does an update once a month now, or a new season, or a new update, or I mean it's always something new for people to buy something from them to make they think, oh, well, people are going to like this and like this and like this. Yeah. Yeah. Microtransactions oh, yeah. are not going away anytime soon. Oh, no. I'm shiny new objects for everybody. Like, I'm telling you, the moment, the moment Microsoft somehow gets a deal with Disney to bring in like Deadpool. Into oh Warzone, God, it's over. I don't give a, I don't give a fuck how much that is. I'm like, <laughs> get it. Oh, he has six different skins. I have him in Red Bull. Fortnite. Oh, I have him too in Fortnite. That's what got me back into Fortnite was Deadpool skin. I was like, well, I guess let's play this. And I was playing with a whole different crew. Now I got Roggle. He has to play Fortnite. Well, I need either. to go around <laughs> as Deadpool and teabag people. Shoot them and teabag them. You have to. That's Deadpool. That's his whole persona. So we'll we'll right. wrap we'll wrap this up because we can keep going on Call of Duty, and we have we have many many episodes <laughs> about Call of Duty, <laughs> mostly just the two of us. Um, but with Call of Duty aside, it can be in your top five. That's fine. What would you say is is your top five all time favorite game to play? Uh, right now, it has to be Minecraft. Because when I'm not, it might, it might laugh, but for some reason, it's just relaxing. I can go into a world and build something and blow it up. <laughs> just dig to my, just dig a tunnel to my heart blows up. All the energy drinks and beer and everything else I drink. <laughs> But Minecraft, for some reason, Minecraft's relaxing. I, I get that. I don't have to I'm... deal with trolls. I don't have to deal. Yeah. I like... get that. I don't play it. I tried. Not my cup of tea, but I, I totally get it. Like, I will sit for hours for some reason listen to Bob Ross paint a picture about a tree. I don't know why. But I'll do it. Shit, I'd be asleep. The way Bob Ross talks and, and Minecraft music, nope. <laughs> It'd become a sleeping stream. I'd be out. Hey, some of those make some big money. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Start on that shit. And a lot of people don't know two things. Bob Ross was actually a drill sergeant. Uh, I, I, and when I, he... <laughs> I think people know that now after this last year <laughs> that yeah. he was in the military. Okay, maybe some people know that. And when he did paintings on TV, he made two of them, two or three of them, of the same paintings. And a lot of them he made, and a lot of the station did them for giveaways or sold them for money or auction. Yeah. But in a lot of his episodes, he made he so he had to make a couple of thousands of paintings out there that are worth a, a crap load of money. To be honest, where they're at, nobody really knows. They're out in the universe somewhere. But it's just it's insane. Stay tuned. There'll be a, there'll be a Bob Ross original right here somewhere someday. I'll find one. Yeah, a sweet little tree and his friends. Happy little accident. That's right there. Sorry, that's happy little tree friends. Got a couple happy trees. <laughs> so other than Minecraft, what's your mistakes. what's your other top four or what's another four games? Not like right now, just in general. What's your? Yeah, you're all you're all time favorite. Yeah. Um. It's Call of Duty, Minecraft. It would have to be South Park, the South Park games. I'm a fan of South Park. 
which they have a new one. I don't know if a lot of people know yet, but there is a new one coming out. I think it's called Snow Day or something. It was brought to my attention when I was on another podcast doing uh doing the same thing, and he's like, well, I told him, was like, I like soft park games. He goes, do you know there's another one coming out? I was like, wait, what? Really? Why? I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> the cash grab. Oh, yeah. They're pretty fun. Well, they actually. have a restaurant. The restaurant from South Park is actually somewhere opens now. So you have. And oh, I yeah. Guess, I've heard that. It's on Tiki Talk. And, yep. and the two. Major games they have are going to are probably still their best seller get best sell games. All the specials. I mean, but probably style park because it's. It, I don't really play D and D games. I know shocker, but for some reason I. They're D and D ish, and you can kill Kenny any times you want. Do the whole voiceover for Kenny. Okay. I I think they're good. I like them. Fracture Bell Hole is a good one. That's still probably one of my more recently played games of them, but I don't. Yeah, not my cup of tea all the time, but definitely fun and pinch. So you have Call of Duty, you have Minecraft, yes, the entirety of South Park. What else you got? I feel like I missed one. I mean, if I really, really want to rage and just oh crap, cost my studio, I got to play GTA. <laughs> I mean, just pick something up and yeet it across the studio. GTA. But I have, I've got it live. I, in my intro, there's actually a video of me picking my mic up, taking it off the stand, and using yeah. it at the wall. So, what would be your number five, your last game? <laughs> it's, a, it's a toss up between wrestling. Well, no, the wrestling. And the the wrestling game, the two K series or Fight uh, WWE, Forever? the two K series, the okay. the I like to take shovels and beat the crap out of people with them. And I like the hardcore matches. I mean, when they brought back ECW, like ECW ish arenas. And they brought back, well, you can download, people make like the arenas and stuff. Yeah. To like make ECW arenas, TNA arenas. You can get like Samoa Joe, people that's not even on the roster anymore. You can play them as pro player. Like, you can play them. So, probably in W2, the 2K WWE games. Yeah, those are good. That'd be a solid series. Can't wait for the next one. I, well, I really need to get frustration when I need to get real frustration out. All right. Well, we'll see this. Uh, we we do appreciate having you on here and reaching out to us via the originally the live stream we hosted uh, back in December. Uh, but yeah, go check out. Flora Rampage Gaming over on Kick, and you're also on YouTube. You said you create content, correct? All right. Yep. Uh, you can find me at Florida Rampage Gaming and Florida Rampage Gaming on YouTube, I believe. And you can ch- uh, I got stuff on TikTok. I try to update TikTok videos every now and then. Post new videos on there. It's kind of hard to do when I because I, I usually post them after a stream so after the stream I have to go and flip, freaking go through yeah. a whole bunch of videos that I made for no reason but I try to post 
when I can. Yeah, that's very time consuming. We'll say that. That's why I do for us and my own. So, <laughs> but make sure you go check him out. As always, it was great having you on here, man. Um, we'll definitely reach back out and thanks for having me. Yeah, definitely. Anytime. Yeah. Um, again, we play for anybody who's listening and yourself. We do play every Thursday night around the same time, around like eight thirty central, eight thirty p.m. central, um, nine thirty eastern, and we just play Call of Duty. We literally play. I would say for fun, but if you listen in or you watch us, it does not sound like we're having fun. It sounds like Sig's very upset and mad all the time. And he is. I am very mad all the time because of Roggle. Uh, but oh, we have I lots of fun. <laughs> He's my enabler. Uh, if you ever see us on, you're more than welcome. Hop on. Uh, again, we play Warzone. Somebody doesn't play multiplayer but come join us and yeah check catch us live he's over on twitch roggles over on twitch i'm a freaking whore i'm on kick youtube facebook and twitch uh but yeah it's great having you on thank you so much for joining us tonight uh yeah anything else you want to let them know before you head out so oh uh, i stream monday through friday 8 p.m eastern seniors time on kick uh you can follow me i'll live only certain times on twitch now if i'm out and about but uh i'm mainly on kick monday through friday all right Rago, wrap us up do your little die thingy that you do come on do it sure, check us out <laughs> check out the website you guys two guys one game com for all the merch everything else we got there rate review let us know again jay himself if you want to be on the podcast let us know more than, have, more than welcome to have anybody on. Talk to anybody about anything and everything. Till then, bye, bitch.